Hello my fellow med students, nursing students, PA students, PT students, and any other student I may have missed. I'm Sebastian with Dr. Images MD, and this is Varus versus Valgus. Now we're talking about Varus versus Valgus positioning. We want to consider the direction of distal. Remember direction, distal. So for Varus, represented here by the red knight, Varus occurs when the distal part is more medial than the proximal part. So Varus, the red knight, Big R in Varus stands for the Red Knight. You could think of him riding a horse with a lance tucked under his arm as he battles a dragon. You'll also notice he's jumping over a bow. And that's because Varus is also called bow-legged and can be caused by things like rickets. In this case, we can see Genu Varus and Cubitus Varus with our stick figure with the R on his chest. Then we have Valgus. Now, Valgus occurs when the distal part is more lateral than the proximal part. Again, remember, direction of distal is what decides if we're varus or valgus. For valgus, you can remember the big L in valgus is for lateral. Or in this case, in our image, it's for lady. You can remember the woman being saved by the knight on a horse, standing in that position, the valgus position. If you look at the stick figure, you can see both genu valgus and cubitus valgus. Genu valgus is oftentimes referred to as knock knee. And that's all for Varus versus Valgus.